Grind City Media here with the newest member of the Memphis Grizzlies, Luke Kennard. Luke, obviously, uh, it's been a whirlwind. You know, you talk about Thursday's trade deadline, coming to Memphis, getting on the road for a trip to Boston, and now going back to Memphis. What are these next couple of days going to be, as, as Stephen Adams makes a guest appearance right over there, but uh, what's these next couple of uh, couple of days, a couple of weeks going to be like as you try to get settled in and get acclimated with this new team? Yeah, I mean, basically that. You know, trying to trying to learn everybody, trying to learn the, the system, how they play. Um, yeah, it's been a quick couple of days, uh, but you know, I'm I'm just taking it all in, man, and, and trying to uh, you know be a part of this great this great group, great orga organization, and um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's going to be a process of. of learning everything and, and getting comfortable out there. But I think, you know, over time, over these next couple of weeks, it's it's really going to start to connect. And, uh, you know, I'm going to help this team out a lot. One of the things your new teammates, the new front office and the coaching staff talked about was not just your ability to shoot, but also to playmake and sort of rekindle that playmaking that you showed earlier in your career. What opportunities do you see to sort of grow in that area and help this team? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I think there's definitely opportunity to, to playmake on this team the way that they play. Uh, they, they play free. They play you know, fast and they play through each other. So, so, uh, you know, I think for me, it's, it's starting to really start to be aggressive, uh, as much as I can, any opportunity I, I can get. Um, and like, like you said, you know, I, I did a lot of playmaking a little bit earlier in my career. Um, and then, um, had, had a, had a stint there where, you know, try, kind of played off the ball a little bit more. So just getting, getting back comfortable with, with having the ball in my hands a little bit more is going to be, um, something I'm, I'm looking forward to, but, um, something that, you know, this team, this team likes and, and they want. So, uh, like I said, over, over these next couple of weeks, it's just going to be a process of getting comfortable with that. And then obviously the shooting, we, we all know about the shooting. Now the Grizzlies have two of the top five percentage shooters in the league from three point range, particularly from the corner, uh, is where you've excelled as well too. What's it going to be like to be on the floor with John Morant and with Desmond Bain, with Tyus Jones, guys that can create those kind of shots for you and alongside you? Yeah, I mean they're high IQ players. They they know where guys are going to be, and we got to be in the right spots for them. And uh, to space the floor, you know they, they get downhill a lot. They're they're special guys when they when they do that. And uh, you know I think for us when we just kind of play at their pace um, and, and space the floor, we we got to be ready to shoot. You know there were a couple opportunities uh, today where where I had a chance to shoot and, and pass it up, but you know I think over time it's it's going to you know just come come natural for for me. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to getting comfortable playing with these guys and um, it's going to be fun. And lastly, you got one game uh, before the All-Star break, make your Grizzlies FedEx Forum debut on Wednesday against the Utah Jazz. What did you know about Memphis and what did you think about Memphis as an opposing player coming to play in Memphis and how do you ex what do you expect from the crowd when you get back there? Yeah, no, I, I remember every time we, we played in Memphis, there was always a good crowd. Um, they, they love their basketball and their loyal fans. So um, I'm looking forward to hopefully we can get a, get a win before the break and, uh, you know, just yeah, go Grizz. Ha, ha, ha.